Here we're going to look at adding two fractions. Um, and so notice the denominators, I can't factor anything out anymore. So they're already as reduced as they're going to get. So this is a case where the LCD is literally just one denominator times the other one. So both sides, I want to say, if I want the denominator to be have a 6x and a 4x minus 5, this one needs a 4x minus 5, and this one needs a 6x. Now, I'll point out this negative is usually something that gets forgotten about very easily. One thing you can do um, is either be really careful about your parentheses, or I could just distribute this negative right now because it's saying minus this whole thing. So I'll put minus x and plus 1. That way it'll be less likely to get forgotten about later when I have to start foiling. So here on the top of this one I'm going to have 6x times x, so 6x squared, and then plus what I get when I foil these two together. So first term is negative 4x squared. My inside is 4x and outside is 5x because negative times a negative. So that makes it plus 9x and then minus 5. And now they both have the same denominator, which is 6x times this other factor. And then see if there's any like terms like 6x squared and 4x squared give me 2x squared plus 9x minus 5. And then we're hoping it's reduced all the way to factor the top um, to make sure, but I feel pretty good about it because I can't factor out a 6 or an x, and then notice even if I tried to factor the top, one of my terms would be 2x, the other one would be x. So as long as I know that it's not going to cancel with 4x minus 5, I can be fairly sure that it's reduced all the way without having to factor the top. But sometimes it's not a bad idea. In fact, we'll do it here. Sometimes it's not a bad idea to just get in the habit of always factoring the numerator just to double check that it's reduced all the way. So I know this will be 2x and x is the only way to multiply to 2x squared. And I need factors of negative 10, if I'm thinking ac here, that add to positive 9. So probably 10 and negative 1. But then notice that doesn't mean that a number like 10 is going to go here. I can only use factors of 5. So maybe if I put 10 and minus 1. So my outside term is 10 and my inside term is minus 1. Or you can use AC method. Some are easier to guess and check if they have a lot of prime numbers, like how this one starts with a 2 and ends in a 5. But AC method works no matter what, especially when you don't have so many prime numbers. Guess and check can take kind of too long. So now I can see what we were talking about. There's no common factors, so whether you leave your answer like this or like this, um, both of those are reduced all the way.